The Los Amos National Laboratory is building two lightweight muon trackers suitable to be used in Florence to image the interior wall of the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore. It was built without a temporary support structure, without centering. Brunelleschi at the time was the only person in the world capable of doing it. He was very secretive, he didn't share his secret, so that's for this reason we don't have any drawings. We call this muon radiography because we use muons, and in particular cosmic ray muons, to obtain images of uh, an object, of the object we are interested in, in the same way as uh, one would do with X-rays. Muon trackers, they're made of an array of drift tubes. Each drift tube looks like a cylinder and it's an independent particle detector. It's the combination of many drift tubes and their um, position is their location with respect to each other that allows us to track muons, that is to measure their trajectories. So we're planning to use muon vision to determine what Brunelleschi left untold. So um, what's inside the inner wall of the dome. Um, the dome is made of two shells. The inner one is 2.2 meters thick. It's the shell that bears most of the weight. The outer one, it's only for weather protection, is 70 to 80 centimeters thick. So with our detectors, we hope to be able to solve the mystery of what's inside the inner wall of the dome. Um, for instance, uh, is there iron or not? Um, Brunelleschi purchased many pounds of iron during the construction of the dome, and uh, now this iron is unaccounted for. Uh, in order to image the interior wall of the dome of the Florence Cathedral, we would have to uh, sandwich the inner wall between two trackers. So we need to hoist our detectors up high and uh, leave them there for time long enough to obtain an image. In principle, the same way we will image the interior wall of the dome of the Florence Cathedral, we could image uh, structures such as bridge foundations or possibly dams, which is also important for, uh, for safety. <laughs>